An intro and an outro. These are two essential aspects of any podcast episode. While the intro helps you with branding your podcast, the outro is what makes an interesting end to your podcast episode. But how do you create these without spending a few hundred dollars on an audio engineer services? That is what I'm going to show you in today's video. So let's get started. Hello and welcome back. This is Dilip. If you're new here and you don't know me, then I'm a blogger, podcaster and affiliate marketer. And this is a channel where I share a lot of simple tips to help you get started with your content creation journey, be it blogging, podcasting or affiliate marketing. And I'll also show you how to make money with it. So if you're new here, then you might want to subscribe to this channel today itself. Now on to today's video. Now this video is based on some requests that I got on my blog about using Audacity to create intros and outros. And this could be something that you too might be interested in, especially if you're interested in creating a good podcast intro and outro for your show. But creating a podcast intro, a good podcast intro could mean spending a few hundred dollars on an audio engineer services or maybe finding somebody on Fiverr who can get it done according to your satisfaction. But then that might not be something that you might want to do. So what is the alternative? How do we do it? And the answer, we are going to create one of our own using Audacity. So in this video, I'll show you how to create a nice little intro and how to use the same music for your outro that is an engaging outro, an interesting outro using Audacity. And there are no complicated steps, I promise. So let's get onto my desktop and see how it is done. I'm going to show you two simple methods that you can do using Audacity to get your intro and outro done. Okay, so here I am on Audacity and I'll first show you how to create an intro for your podcast and Something that you might want to keep in mind is that this is not something that has a lot of production value in the sense that that I'm not going to add a lot of music and uh, sound effects and effects to the audio. This is going to be a very simple intro, which is what I would recommend when you're starting off. And I have been into podcasting for quite some time, but I still continue to use this kind of an intro because for me, an intro is nothing more than telling your listeners what the podcast is all about. So... I don't think you need to spend a lot of money into creating an intro until and unless you feel that you want to give your podcast that kind of a branding. So this is a pretty simple tutorial and I'll show you two ways that you can create a podcast intro for your podcast. Now here you can see there are two tracks. This first track basically is my intro that I've recorded and the second track is the music that I'm going to use. This is the music that I use for my podcast. So this is a file that I'm going to use for my podcast. And in this video, I'll show you these two different ways in which you can blend or you can mix this music with your audio and create an intro. And then I'll show you how to go about doing the outro as well. Now, like what I said, this is the intro audio that I've recorded and this is the the music. So let me take this to the top and this track is lower and what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this slightly at a point where uh, you know the music kind of starts because I want the music to start first and then my audio plays so I'll place it somewhere here so that the music starts here and then my audio starts here and now I can see that this audio is is a slightly longer audio if I look at the uh, the, the audio file that I have for my intro but I need to strategically cut this audio at a place where it doesn't sound like the music is getting interrupted that is one way of doing it or the second way of doing it is that you can cut it at a point wherever you want wherever your intro audio ends and then you can use a fade out option so first of all let me show you how to go about cutting this at a point at a strategic point like for example I can see here that the the waveform kind of goes down here and then it further goes down here. Now at this point it will be a little too long so I don't want the music to play that long but this is a point where I can cut the audio down so what I will do is I'll place the cursor here and then I'll expand this so that the audio is actually cut at the right place. Now this is where I want the audio to cut and then I'll go and I can split the audio here like this or for because I'm on a Windows PC I can use the shortcut which is control I and this gets split here 
Now let me go about minimizing this and I'll delete this portion because I don't need this portion here. And now that I have this audio, now you can see that this audio is slightly placed towards one side. So what I'll do is I'll want to play the intro uh, music a little more before my audio starts. So I'll place it somewhere here. And now we are ready to go into the mixing option. So what I'll do is this is the first option. Mixing is pretty easy. All that you need to do is just select this audio, go to effect, volume and compression. You see something like auto duck here. So select auto duck. Now this is a setting. The duck amount is something that you can adjust or you should be adjusting. I'll recommend that you leave the rest of the things as is. So let me keep it at minus 16 here. I'll click apply and you can see that the audio has been ducked at the place where my audio, my intro audio is playing. Now let me play it for you and I'll show you how this sounds. You're listening to the Podcasting University, a weekly podcast where I share. So that is how it sounds. And now let me show you how this ends. And now on to today's episode. You can see here that the point where my intro audio ends, the music is faded and then it picks up from here. Now, this piece is a little longer and I don't want the music to be playing for this long before my actual episode starts. So what I'll do is I'll place my episode file somewhere here. So this is a point where my episode will start playing. Now let me show you how I do it. I'll open a file where I have the episode playing. So let me quickly show you. So this is a point where I'm going to paste the episode file. You can see here the episode is pasted. Now let me slightly adjust it here. And now you can see that the audio here is a little too loud and this might overshadow this episode audio which is starting here. So what I will rather do is I let the music play here and at this point where my episode starts, I will go about fading it out. So let's go to fading and I will fade it out and I'll repeat it once again because I want the audio to be a little lower and now let's play this to today's episode. Hello and welcome to episode number 150 of the Podcasting University. Now you can see how that sounds. So the audio is faded and your intro is ready to be used. Now this is one way of doing it. Now let me show you another way of doing it which is now, once again, we are at a place where I have this music and this is my audio intro. Now, the second option is where you have a little more control of how the audio will sound, where you want the audio to go down, where you want the audio to be a little audible. So you can do all of that here. Now, how you do that is by using this option here, which is called as the envelope tool. If you press function key F2, then this tool automatically gets activated. Instead what I will do is I will click on this. Now you can see here that the envelope tool has been activated. Now envelope tool is pretty easy to operate. What you do is you click at some of these points where you want to actually edit the audio. Now let me put two dots here and now I go here because this is the point where I want the audio to be coming up again. So I will click it here and then this is a point where I am going to be pasting my episode audio. So now that this is done, let us reduce this here. So what we do is we reduce this audio here and we go about reducing it here. And now that this is done, let me go about pasting my episode audio here. Now you can see the episode audio is pasted. Now once again, I go back to the envelope tool and I click here and I decrease it so that now here you can see that I have a little more control over how it fades out and this is done. So here again I will want this to start on a slightly fade in note and this is done. Let me play this out for you and show you how it works. 
You're listening to the Podcasting University, a weekly podcast. You can see how that sounds and this is how it ends. Hello and welcome to episode number 150 of the Podcasting University. So that's how it will sound. Now, the only difference between this method and the other one is that this one has gives you a little more control over how you want the audio to be playing out. So that is how you will create the intro for your video. Now, let me show you how to go about doing the outro for this video. Let me quickly open my file. So I have this file open. This is the actual file of my latest episode. And I'll use this file to show you how to go about adding an outro. So let me first import the files that I need. I'll reduce this and uh, this is the file that I need. Now, this is the audio file that I'm going to use for my outro, which is the same music that I use for my intro. First of all, what I want to do is I would want to place this towards the end of the episode and I want to place it at a strategic position where it sounds right. It should look like the episode is going to end and the outro music is going to take over. So you might want to check a point where you are kind of starting the exit for the podcast and then place this audio there. Now let's first listen to this audio here. Podcast monetization is extremely difficult. Not now this is not a point where I want to place it. So I'll further move it somewhere here. You can see here, this is a point where I'm almost towards the end of the episode. So I would want to place my outro somewhere here. And now it's taken care of. Try implementing some of these tips that I shared. In now this is a good point where I can start my outro. Now, once I've placed this outro here, once again, you have two different ways of doing it, but I would recommend going with the first method, which is the auto duck method. So all you need to do is just go to volume and compression auto duck and minus 16 decibel is what works for me. So I'll click on apply. This is applied. And when you listen to it, so the music is playing in the background and it is a very subtle music. That's what I want uh, for the outro. And when we come towards the end of it, you will see how it changes. So it goes up from there and that's how I want the outro to end. So that is how you can get an outro done for your episode. And I will recommend that you follow this very simple method. Don't get too jazzy and pay maybe a few hundred or thousand dollars to somebody to create an intro and an outro. Go simple. What matters more is the content from your episode that has to have value. So go focus on your content instead of focusing on all of these window dressing that uh, you, you would normally feel is going to make an impact on your podcast. So that was how you can create an interesting intro and an outro for your podcast. In fact, this is how I have created a podcast intro for my show and which is something that I've been using even now after releasing about 150 odd episodes. I don't want all of those jazzy musics and somebody else voicing it out for me. I would prefer doing it for myself. And that is why I use Audacity to create the intro for my show because that is how I would love my branding to show up. If you are interested, then you might want to take this route. You can follow this tutorial, get an intro created for yourself. And if you found value in the steps that I showed you in this video, please do give this video a thumbs up because that way a lot many others will be able to find this video and benefit from it. And if you're new to this channel and you haven't subscribed yet, then you might want to subscribe to this channel right now. And don't forget to hit the bell notification so that you stay updated with all of the latest videos that I release. And if you have any questions, any questions around podcasting, using Audacity, blogging, or even even making money with affiliate marketing. You might want to drop them in the comment section below. I'll create a video for you, explain it if it requires a video to be created or else I'll respond to all of your comments in the comments itself. That is all that I have for today's video. I'll be back again in another video with another interesting discussion around podcasting, blogging and affiliate marketing. Until then, keep watching. This is goodbye from Delhi.